All right, everybody, we back. It's been some several hours. Um, it's probably been longer than what it needs to be. I wanted to stall it out for a little bit because I wasn't really hungry yet. So what I did was, um, I well, I did a, I reversed it out. But when it was done, I just put it on keep warm so it could just sit. And now I cut it back on the low setting so I can add the last of my ingredients to this uh, dish. So, but as you can see, we got like nice potatoes. They're really soft. We got onions in there. Garlic is somewhere to be found. And right, it smells really good. The whole house smells really sausagey and potatoey. So now we got to do is just make it um, add the cream. So we had a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Now the recipe also, or one recipe I see, they say you can add a little bit of flour to kind of help thicken it up. So uh, we'll do that. We'll add, um, we'll just add two, two tablespoons of flour just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. So we'll add just a little bit of flour in there. And then we'll also add uh, about a cup, or not a cup, a pint of heavy whipping cream. I think that's what it called for, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll see. So then we will just stir the flour around to not get any chunks in it. And it's supposed to be like a light cream kind of soup. So as long as it gets that color, we got it. All right, and that looks and that looks like a little consistency. Now, what I'm noticing about mine is I got a lot of small little particles in there. That's from the char of the sausage. But um, regardless, it uh, still looks good, it's gonna taste good. So now, I'm gonna try to find my red pepper flakes. Where's my red pepper flakes? Red pepper flakes, where are you? I cannot find my red pepper flakes. Oh, God damn. All right, well, I'm gonna pause it so I can look for my red pepper flakes. All right, bam, found a red pepper flake. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a couple of those in there. And that'll add like a little spice to it and uh, a little color too. So now this is what we're looking at right here. It's, it's nice, it's creamy, it's uh, very well seasoned. It's pretty much good. So, and uh, if you want to add more cream, you can. I'm gonna add more cream just cause I bought it and I won't use it for anything else. I'm just gonna add the rest of that to that. And uh, that's the beautiful consistency we want. There we go. So now we got the nice color that we like for the soup. Now the uh, one at Olive Garden is a little bit lighter than this. I don't know what they do, but they left, they, I don't know. They, they, sharing, all, they sharing all their secrets, but this soup right here is hitting too. So that's all I got to say about that. So then uh, if you want to top with a little bit of paprika, you can. Just uh, just to add a little bit of redness in there. But uh, soup is pretty good. It's ready to go. So now that that's ready and that's doing what it's doing, I'm actually, you know, I'll cut that on high. And then the last, the last step pretty much is just to add the kale. And you just want to add the kale in there just to kind of get the kale to soften up a little bit. But um, at this point, the soup is done. And as soon as you add the kale in there, by the time you get your plate together and uh, shred your Parmesan cheese, it'll be ready to go. So I always have my kale on top. And this is more than enough kale. But I, I do like a lot of kale in here because I feel like it's healthy, you know. So anyway, this is how I do it. Just mix that around and everything. So we got sausage, potatoes, kale, a little bit of everything in this soup. And uh, that's it. That's the final product. So I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And um, I'm going to get my plate ready. I'm going to clean up a little bit. And then once I get my plate and everything ready, I'm uh, uh, I'm just going to plate it up. Uh, I'm not going to have... Actually, you know what? I probably should cook some... I probably should cook some uh, garlic bread with it. But nonetheless, I'm going to uh, clean this up, plate it up, and then I'll show you the final product, and then I'm going to dig in. Oh, so uh, sidebar, if you're making a meal, if you're making this as part of a meal for a bunch of people, 
Um, if you want to look at the other video I made of the chicken Alfredo, that pairs perfectly with this. Give everybody the Olive Garden experience at home. Just no olives and there ain't no garden, but it's just at home. So if you want to do that, it's great. I've made that before with some people. The chicken Alfredo and the soup, it's a hit. It's always a hit. So yeah. All right. We are back and I am hungry and it is, we are ready to go. We are ready to go. So I am going to just, and that's the final product of it. As you can see, it's nice, creamy. It's a lot of meat in there, a lot of kale, which is what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just scoop some of that into our bowl. Actually, you know what, I forgot to, but I will do this. I always add, I always try to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese or whatever cheese to the bottom of the bowl. I forgot to do that, but I'll add the cheese now. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of cheese to it. Well, actually, we'll add a lot of cheese. We'll have cheese throughout. Cheese is good. Who doesn't like cheese? So yep, so I'm just gonna Add enough kale, and I got a little bit of everything in here. Got a, got some sausage, got some kale, and now I'm just gonna add just a little bit of uh, just the broth, because the broth is good too, it's nice and creamy. There we go. So I'll just leave that there, and I'm gonna cut it on. I'm just gonna put it on keep warm, because I don't want it to cook more than it has to. Then we'll bring our we'll bring our bowl over here. Let me uh, let me just set this up. Oh, so I did end up making the bacon bits uh, while it was doing that, and I also decided that I am gonna make the uh, garlic bread. So these are garlic bread sticks. You can find them anywhere. Um, yeah, you can find them anywhere. You know what they look like. So. Let me just wipe off this plate for presentation, because that's important, I guess. All right, so, got a bowl of soup. What I like to do is I like to get my bacon bits, and I just put my bacon bits, you know, right in the middle. Just a, just a few, we don't need, we don't need that much bacon bits, you know, just, just a few bacon bits. Just a little bit, just a little bit of bacon. And then I like to top it off with uh, some Parmesan cheese. These shavings are actually pretty thick, but that should do it. That's more than enough cheese. Then I'm gonna take bread and I will put it right there. There we go. But actually, you know, we'll go ahead and put this right. We'll dip that right on in there because that's how we're doing it. So uh, that's uh, that's it right there, the Zupa Toscana. Let me go ahead and get a good, nice photo of this. But yeah, so um, thanks for tuning in to Vic Cook. This is the part two video. If you missed the part one video, uh, actually, I don't know how you got to here, but uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, it is what it is.